you're really seeing the sun as it truly is, as a star in the black vacuum of space. When people ask me, what's it like in space? I mean, that, that's the most common question I get as, a, as an astronaut. What's it like in space? People are fascinated by the human experience. One of my favorites, actually, it's not a picture of the Earth at all. It's a picture of an astronaut in a spacesuit with the sun over his shoulder. You're seeing the sun in a black sky. And once it hits you that, hey, that's the beautiful blue sky, which from the bottom I look up and it looks like it goes on forever. Unfortunately, the way our civilization treats our atmosphere indicates that you know, we treat it as though it goes on forever and it's infinite and it doesn't matter what you put into it because it's not going to make any difference. Man, you go up in, into space and you're surrounded by the blackness of the universe and you look back at the horizon of the earth and there's this tiny thin blue line. I mean, that's another example of the completely different perspective you have. You know, people ask me, why is an astronaut's perspective different? And obviously part of it is because you're up so high, but people have talked about that having a different perspective. You know, when you stand on top of a mountain, I'm a mountain climber, I've, I've shared that experience. You know, in many cases, I, I see many similarities between some of the emotions that I've had climbing mountains and being in space in that you have to do hard work to get up to the heights, but once you're up there, you're kind of separated from all the society down below and you have a longer vision and you're looking at things from a very different perspective. And so I constantly talk with people about, yeah, you get this totally different perspective from space. Space perspective. The sky around you is black. You're really in space. 100,000 feet in a balloon, you're way above most of the atmosphere. You're in space, it's, it's black and you look out the window and realize the universe by and large is incredibly hostile to life. And then you look down at our beautiful planet Earth and you see the protective layer of the atmosphere and the greens and the blues and the browns and, and it really does give you, I think, a sense of the wondrousness of our planet. And with that, of course, for many astronauts, comes an increased desire to protect the planet. I think you get a lot more ecological sensitivity after you've got this feeling of the hostility of most of the universe to life and, and the very special place that the Earth has played. I mean, it was the cradle of life. That's where we all come from. And if just that sense can be diffused among more and more people, Maybe we'll have a better handle on solving some of our ecological problems, at least I hope so. I think that anybody who goes up has this experience. It's, it's open for them as much of it as they can take in. In the balloon, you have six hours, and my first space flight, I had seven days, and, and so that's a little bit different. But on the other hand, six hours of being able to look at the earth in all its glory is a heck of a lot more than, you know, four minutes in, on the top of a suborbital rocket. You know, for me, it was a personal voyage of exploration because I was just learning so much and, and seeing and experiencing so many new things. And I, I think that will be the case going up and seeing the earth from 100,000 feet. You know, this is something totally different than almost anybody has done before. And, and so I think it's a personal exploration. You're really expanding your own experience, your own horizons, and, and have been exposed to a kind of existence which you've never had before. I hope people won't be afraid to talk about their emotions and, you know, how how extraordinary the experience is and, and, and how they felt about it. Let it sink in. Hopefully, people will get it. They'll get the idea. The Earth needs our help at this point. We gotta take care of it. <laughs> like they say, right now we don't have a planet B. And these are people who go up to get a view of our planet that most people don't have. 
they have a responsibility to talk about it and share the experience and, and tell about what they've learned and, and, you know, let's take care of our home. It's the only one we've got.